So today we're going to talk about the travesty that is the save everything mentality. Um, we're going to focus on rabbits, although this unfortunately permeates to many other supposedly on the surface well-meaning but completely ill-advised and if anything hero complex selfish people so um the first one that we're going to cover today this is posted from the house rabbit society on september 6th um i believe oda thought they had taken this down but it is still up uh prepare to be completely swept away by perkins one of the most lovable bunnies you'll ever meet he may be permanently on his side, but that won't stop him from hopping into your heart and stealing it. So let's go over this. Um, he is permanently on his side. Um, they're not making that. They, they, they're, they're, that's not being glossed over. This rabbit is paralyzed. It is permanently on its side. Um, they basically have to carry it everywhere. They have to do everything for it. Uh, he's, I'm sorry. It's like, he's an excellent hay eater. Feed him. He likes to be fed his hay piece by piece. Okay. Um, he's in their sanctuary program. And they're going to provide his caregiver with the initial supplies needed to get him set up, including an X-Pen litter box and carrier. Um, sanctuary caregivers receive the complimentary veterinary care and routine matters from our staff veterinarian. That's great. Um, you're going to pawn off this poor senior bun who they have been limping along for years that is an obvious pain and distress that looks absolutely terrible and instead of just giving it the gift of death in this case because you can just tell this rabbit is begging for death so the oh we'll give you a discount on stuff he's been in it is now 2022 he's been limped along in their care since 2016 he has an unknown neurological condition. He's a side dweller, quote unquote. So he needs extra soft bedding to help him make him as comfortable as possible. And it needs to be changed several times a week, if not daily. They recommend he receive weekly bottom cleanings. Honestly, if it's as bad as it is, it probably should be twice a day. Um, in order to keep him happy and healthy. He's on oral medication that he happily takes as well as eye cream for both of his eyes. He also gets daily sub fluids to keep him hydrated, which means he probably is unable to drink properly if they're having to give him sub daily in order just to keep him hydrated. Yet they still neutered him. So not only is this poor... And then again, the question is, how did he get in this condition in the first place? Is it a complication from the neutering? Is it, is it genetic? Um, is it an injury? But all of that aside, they've been limping this poor creature on for years. Uh, he, they, they gave him his, his, uh, his RHDV and, um, <laughs> Vax, yay. Um, he may be okay with cats and dogs, indoor only. I'm sorry. It's just, this, this is, and, and, and let's take a look at poor little Perkins. This is Perkins. Perkins is begging for death. Perkins has weepy eye. Perkins is a fucking mess. This is not a happy rabbit. This is sad. They are allowing him to continue suffering. Why would you do this? He can't move. He just lays there. Apparently he might scoot on occasion. But seriously, this, this poor rabbit. And they bill themselves as being saviors. And they bill themselves as helping. What this is, is cruelty in order to get donations. This is cruel. This is wrong. Death is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it is the most humane option. And here we have them using poor Perkins to try to get people to donate more money to their monthly giving club. Um, or, I don't know, maybe their prolonged torture club, which is what this seems like it is to me. Because a lot of these animals just simply need to be put down. Rabbits are a prey animal. Rabbits are not going to show you how bad they actually hurt. Paralyzed rabbits cannot function. Um, if they are partially paralyzed, they will get arthritis and they will get joint ill and they will be painful in their other limbs. They will have issues 
with their bladder. They will have issues um, with their digestive tracts. They will have issues of chronic pain. Put the animal down when it's made to have to walk on four legs or hop on four legs. It's the same with horses. You cannot successfully put a horse in a wheelchair cart. It is painful and terrifying, and it's part of their circulatory system in order to, to walk on all four hooves. Rabbits are similar with their locomotion. Rabbit locomotion requires bilateral movement. If they're missing a leg or two legs or um, are paralyzed in a quarter or, or a half, they will not be comfortable and it will cause all kinds of long-term issues leading to GI stasis, leading to pain, um, leading to uh, muscle, muscle problems, leading to atrophy, leading to arthritis, leading to all of these things, leading to osteoporosis because they're not going to be functional. Do the humane thing and let them go. This one I find kind of interesting. So March 14th, um, there's this rabbit and she has a really bad fracture. And the woman posting this says, it was explained to me this is somewhat unusual location for a rabbit's spine to fracture. And it's likely related to the overall poor condition of Fiona's bones due to the improper diet, nothing but carrots she received when she was younger. Huh. Now make a note of this. How do they know that she received nothing but carrots when she was younger? Um... So it's bad. Uh, I'll let you look at these. That that is that is a bad break. This animal should have been put down for its own comfort. That is severe. Um. I mean, honestly, I find this again. This is cruel. So they've kept her in long term medical foster care. Um, she's a chronic infection in her jaw bones that's been going on continuously. Um. From the, t from the time that her back was broken, uh, is she has permanent damage and, and loss of her molars, which means she has to be on mush. She can't even eat real pellets, real food. She has an ongoing battle with the infection, which drains into her mouth and causes abscesses to form on her face. They've put this rabbit through 15 surgical procedures under anesthesia, a closed box CT scan, an MRI in the last two and a half years. Oh, but she just keeps going. I'm sorry, Dr. Mangala wouldn't be doing this many experiments. And if they had done this for research purposes, or they had seen a lab do this, they would have been picketing and closing the lab down for cruelty to animals. Yet here, oh, she thanks all of her Facebook friends. Please send us more money. I mean, really break this down. 15 surgeries and she still has a chronic infection that is causing her constant permanent pain and damage and here we get back to this is what i found interesting is this was posted like a couple years later so remember we just covered that fiona um her bones were brittle because she was fed carrots when she was younger according to this post fiona's jury began journey began when a kind person found her grazing in the landscaping outside a fire station in alamina uh, and brought her to the Friends of Alameda Animal Shelter. The shelter's operation manager recognized there was something seriously wrong and made arrangements for Harvey to examine her. The diagnosis was not good. Prognosis was poor. Um, they agreed to accept Fiona and perform emergency surgery. The initial recovery took about four hours. So if she was picked up in a park, how did they know she was only eating carrots when she was little? They also didn't really specify what the emergency surgery was, but I'm going to guess it was probably something to do with the abscesses and, and disease in her mouth. Because um, then later on, when they talk about how the, the back, per breaking her back and paralysis happened, it happened at the foster home. Here we have an incidence where Fiona goes into GI stasis. And they looked her over and they think, oh, there's probably a healing ulcer somewhere. Changed up her drug cocktail again. Um... They confirm that she has a little bit of reflex response on her hind feet. Okay, her back is still broken. She may have some reflexive responses, but she's she's non-functional. She's literally dragging her ass around. This is not this is not a life for a rabbit. This is cruel. That's how you get sores. That's how you get pain. That means her front legs are getting arthritis. There is no change in that. There's nothing that's going to stop that. 
Okay, so March 11, 2017. This is what originally um, injured her. So there. Well, she she's in she's in her carrier. This is when it first happened. Some of you asked about the cause of her injury. Dr. Harvey written up a report of today's examination, which may shed some light. Fiona's back injury. Fiona managed to injure her back last night during a routine procedure. Rich said it looked like she had a seizure. That's certainly possible. Rabbits can injure their spine during a seizure. This back is snapped. It's also possible she tensed up forcefully enough to injure her back, and the abnormal neurological event was a reaction to spine trauma. She was bright and alert. She, didn't, she did not seem painful. It's a prey animal. They never seem painful until they are actually dying, dying. She did not have voluntary movement in either hind leg. Normal muscle tone was present. Well, there would be normal muscle tone if she only just injured the back. She could, could not elicit a deep pain response on either side. That, that means needle stick or pinch trauma. There was a slight click somewhere in her pelvis or spine. So they, they did this without the x-ray first. This is before her x-ray. Her paralysis may be partially or completely resolved, or she could be permanently non-ambulatory. X-ray might help determine this. So they pretty much, you know, for months they went through this after her foster broke her back. And now she's in permanent medical foster care. They're trying to get her to use a cart, but again, rabbits really don't do well in carts. I mean, seriously, let the bunny go. They're wasting all of this mo money on a rabbit that is just in constant and critical pain. Who has been through 15 surgeries, who is constantly having issues, who has a painful mouth and head condition with constant infected abscesses. This is cruel. And if a lab had done this or a researcher had done this, they would have shut down the entire university attached to it, I guarantee you.